Amazon S3 metadata is now generally available. In this video, we will quickly explore it and do some hands-on activities. Amazon S3 metadata accelerates data discovery with near real-time object metadata. Whenever S3 objects are uploaded, updated or removed, S3 metadata captures both system-defined and user-defined metadata and stores them in a fully managed Apache Iceberg S3 table. Later, you can query that read-only meta table for better content cataloging, efficient AI-generated content management, storage optimization, better business intelligence and decision-making, as well as effective data governance. In the interest of time, I have already created one S3 bucket and uploaded one S3 object on purpose. AWS CLI is already configured. I am using temp demo user IM user and temp demo user has necessary permission to access Amazon S3 and S3 tables. For this demo, I will run Apache Spark Docker container in interactive mode and launch Apache Spark shell. For details, you can refer to my earlier videos. I will provide the link in the description section below. Navigate to your S3 bucket, click metadata. First, we will create metadata configuration for this particular bucket. Create metadata configuration. Here, we need to provide destination table bucket ARN. Remember, destination must be a table bucket in the same region of your S3 bucket. Click create table bucket. Provide table bucket name. Make sure integration status is enabled. If you want seamless integration with AWS query engines like Athena, Redshift and EMR, click create table bucket. Open the newly created table bucket. And right now there is no table here. Go back to metadata configuration, browse S3 and choose the table bucket. Provide metadata table name, demo underscore table. Click create metadata configuration. Status is creating. Inside this destination table bucket, it will create a namespace called AWS underscore S3 underscore metadata. Under this namespace, it will create metadata table demo underscore table. Status is active. Go back to table bucket, refresh, and we can see newly created demo underscore table. Let's copy that table bucket ARN and use that table bucket ARN with AWS S3 tables list tables comment. And we can see the metadata table and notice type is AWS because it is AWS managed. Now I will launch Apache Spark Docker container in interactive mode. And I have used the table bucket URN in warehouse configuration. Spark shell is launched. Now you are good to make queries. First we will check the schema of this generated S3 meta table. Describe table, then catalog, namespace. Meta table name show 2150. At this moment, that table has total 21 columns and comment field is too large, so I would like to truncate after 50 characters. Here we can see list of metadata that will be captured by S3 metadata, and you can find the description in comment column. And user metadata is the place where you can provide user defined metadata. Let's try to select few of the metadata like key, sequence number, record type, record timestamp, size, user metadata from the table. And it is empty now. Though we have one object in S3 bucket, so that means it does not capture for existing object. Now we'll try to upload few objects. So I have already created two file, one.txt, which contains this content generated by OpenAI, and two.txt, this content generated by Tipsic. So let's upload one.txt and we are going to pass metadata model openai01 and category genai similarly we will upload 2.txt where category is genai but model is deepseek r1 refresh s3 bucket to confirm run the select query once again it is still empty during my testing i have found it generally takes 4 to 5 minutes so let's wait Run the query again and now we can see to create record for to file upload and we can also see our metadata let's try one delete operation select this file delete delete object again it will take few minutes to reflect in the meantime 
let's explore what we can do with this metadata. Imagine a scenario where you have millions of S3 objects in your S3 bucket and if you have metadata for each S3 object, then you are just a query away to discover the most relevant data set for your application. For example, if I need to find all S3 objects from JNI category, then I can just add one where clause in this query and we'll find it. Now, if I want to find all the S3 object from JNI category, but generated by DeepSeeker one, I just need to add one more condition here. So using this user defined metadata and system generated metadata, you can quickly find the right set of data needed for your use case. Let's quickly run that select query again and we can see one delete record that is generated for file deletion. In case if you are wondering how it is different from S3 inventory, in case of S3 inventory, it generates a flat list of your objects and metadata and this reports gets generated at a scheduled interval. Uh, this is the destination bucket where this reports get stored and frequency can be daily or weekly. Output format is CSV, ORC and Parquet. And these are the meta fields that can be captured in that report. So basically use S3 inventory. If you need these metadata fields, which are not available in S3 metadata, or if you need metadata for existing objects, because we saw that for existing objects, S3 metadata didn't capture anything. For all other use cases, AWS recommends to consider S3 metadata. One thing is very obvious. There will be a lot of entries into this meta table and you will be charged for each operation and that storage. So to help minimize your cost, you can periodically delete your meta table configuration and meta tables. So let's go to meta configuration, delete. Important thing to note here, Deletion of this configuration will just stop capturing the S3 metadata, but it will not delete the meta table. Let's go back to AWS CLI. We'll use S3 tables delete table command using table bucket ARN namespace and the table name to delete the table. Go back to table bucket, refresh, and there is no table. To complete the cleanup, if you want, you can delete the S3 bucket as well, but I'm not going to do that right now. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Until then, happy deployed on the cloud.